for performance there by O.C. Carez. Now it's time for quite an interesting conversation. We have an interesting guest here on the show today. Paul Utomi is an avid reader, fitness enthusiast, script writer, film director, and producer. He understands and embraces the notion of versatility and diversity. He's also a television presenter. Well, hopefully we'll be hosting the show alongside me today. <laughs> and a voice of a talent who has presented several episodes of Breakfast Shows and has lent his voice to radio jingles, infomercials, audiobooks, and documentaries. You are welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You look good. You look completely different from the last time I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> The movie industry is doing you well. I don't know about that, but um, <laughs> I'm grateful. I am grateful. Yeah, so you just got back from Abuja, spent yeah. the three weeks there, <laughs> having fun, shooting. <laughs> Talk to us about that experience. What was it about? It was nice. It was for a TV series. I don't okay. know if I'm at liberty to mention the name of the project, okay. but um, it was a really, really fun-filled and um, educative experience working with, with a lot of talented young filmmakers who want to make their mark in our industry. Yeah, yes. I've seen you. I mean, you've been in the, in the movie industry for quite a for donkey years. Yes. I mean, um, you've been there for so long. And, you know, I've seen you, you know, transition into script writing, directing, production. You're even winning, um, you know, you're getting nominated for, you know, awards for yeah. your for writing and, you know, directing. I mean, um, which of these, you know, um, um, roles which you have delved into, yeah. you know, has become your, your, your passion? All of them. Can I say that? Yes, okay. all of them. Yes, to be honest. Um, it's a similar but yet different feeling when you're working in front of the camera, when you're working in solitude in front of your laptop, and when you're calling the shots on set. Okay. Yes, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I, so the three movie trailers that we, you know, we looked at, which are coming up, yeah. which, which, these movies are yet to be released or they're coming up, coming out in the cinemas um, later this month. And there was something that sort of um, stood out for me, which was a comeback of many of the you know, old Nollywood actors. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's been, there's a callback from Emeka Ike, um, Charles Okafor. Yeah. We've seen them, you know, coming back into the yeah. movie scene. Yeah. Talk to us about your thoughts, you know, on that. You have been in the scene for a while. Yeah. I mean, you, you didn't, you know, you didn't, there was no hiatus. You didn't mm -hmm. take a break. Yeah. But these guys took a break from the industry and now they're back. So yeah. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that, you know, and... You know, what's, what's that for, for, for you? In my humble opinion, it's okay. a beautiful thing okay. when people, these people, people we used to watch as children, as young adults, have decided to lend their talents once again to our industry to help tell our stories. It, yeah. it's, it's always a beautiful thing. Okay. It's always a beautiful thing. I can't speak to why they individually decided to step away. It could have been for a host of Many beautiful and things. great reasons and personal reasons, um, but they have decided to once again come into the fray and um, all we can be is grateful. All right. Grateful. Yeah. There's also been conversations about, um, I mean, there's still that ongoing debate about um, movies using would I prominent faces, maybe not prominent faces, yeah. but based on their, you know, following yes. on social media. Yeah you know, they specifically use them. They may not have the talent, yeah. but because they have the numbers, uh -huh. they are being used and they are being featured, you yeah. know, in some of their movies, okay. other than, you know, going for young, raw talents, which we have seen, you know, quite a number of movies yeah. also, you know, um, um, you know, feature some of these, you yeah. know, give opportunities yeah. to some of these young people. Yeah. What would you like to say about that? Have, have you also kind of experienced it where, you know, you have, you know, gone for an audition, you thought you were going to get it, and then suddenly yeah. that role was given to someone who was assumed to have a certain number of, you know, following yeah. and traction on yeah. social media? Is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> <laughs> of course, this happened to every actor, okay. not just in Nigeria, I'm, I'm guessing even in Hollywood. Um, Chances are you might be a big, strapping, talented, young actor um, in the United States, and they decide to give it to The Rock. That can happen. So at the end of the day, producers sometimes are looking at their bottom line. 
they need to recoup on their investment. It's called show business. There is a business side to this industry. Yeah, but you're also a producer. Would you do that? Well, to each his own. I'm not going to say my way is better. It's just simply my way. <laughs> I, I don't know that I would necessarily do that, okay. but I can understand why some people might choose to toe that line. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I really, you're not giving me the juice. I need you to <laughs> give me the juice. It has happened to you. This is something that you have experienced. Yeah. It happened to a friend of mine recently. Yeah. You know, he was already given the role. He went for casting. Yes. He actually, he, according to him, yes. he had he already signed the dotted, signed line. the yes. dotted lines. Yeah. And then they come back to him saying, bruh, well, sorry. we are sorry. Yeah. We are going to give this role to someone. And this was going to be one of his biggest projects yes. so far. So all that enthusiasm, all yeah. that, you know, sleepless nights, because you see the dedication that actors, you know, put into their work, yeah. even before they get on, on set. Sets. And this is one of those people because, you know, I've worked closely, closely with him in the past yeah. and he didn't get it. Yeah. And he's heartbroken. Yes. Do you, so... You have experienced it. Yes. Talk to me about, you know, you know how the experience that you, you know, you, 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 you felt. Yeah, it hurts. It will hurt a lot. But the truth is, life is filled with ups and downs. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes you come very close to winning some, and that hurts. That hurts okay. bad. But you will move past that moment, and you will have other opportunities. You just have to stay in the fight. And keep your head off, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now let's talk about your other project. Yeah. 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 So what's going on with you? So I know you've, you know, been directing and producing. There's yes. so, so, so much going on with you, so, much, yeah. so many projects that you're working on. Yeah. Talk to us about that. Well, the, one or two things we're working on, I'm not at liberty to discuss just yet. Okay. But I am directing a film um, sometime at the end of this year. Okay. Or middle of this month. Okay. Um, it's called Mumu Man. Uh, it's... Uh, what genre? A drama thriller. Okay. Yeah, it focuses a bit on addiction, and I hope uh, to do it justice. Okay. Basically. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Is that going to be on any other streaming platforms or cinema? That is the plan. That's that, that, the, that plan. Is the plan. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. We can't wait to see it then. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Paul. It's yeah. always a pleasure having you here on Thank the you. show. Right. And uh, yes, we have games coming right up, and we would like uh, you to join us. I hope you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. Yeah? Yeah, you're gonna have fun. <laughs> right, so it's games coming up next, guys. You know we always, you know, bring those games, right? So stay with us, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.